Hello and welcome to Team Fortress TV. Uh, and as a banquet of TF2 action tonight, we have both the game we're covering, which is Lethal Weapon against Lavantgarde. Is that right? Is that what they're calling themselves? The blue moon, or whatever it is. Yeah, basically LBC from last season, give or take a Frenchman or two. Uh, this is for the first ETF2L Premiership game of the season. I think, I'm, no, second? Lego player yeah, right. second. Our game was uh, last night. Oh, if you can call it a game. Oh. Yeah. A very quick game. <laughs> it, was like a te- it was like a teaser trailer for the season. Yeah. Just a snack bite game to <laughs> introduce us to the real meaty, meaty fixtures of week one, which are happening today. Yeah, so it's going to be Badlands and Process, and it looks like we'll be starting off with Process. Um, let's just confirm the lineups for both teams. I'm not 100% sure on the avant-garde lineup, but obviously we watched the Russians warm up. So it will be Monty and Victor, aka Forsaken on Scout. Death on Demoman, White Glow as always, when there's a top Russian team in the mix on Medic. And then Atomic on Pocket, and the legendary Shadowburn on Roma. Do you have so how close is LBC on the other side of it to or avant garde to LBC? Oh I'm not that aware of like how, how they played last season. No, I wasn't really paying attention last season. Um but they used I think it's almost exactly the same roster, isn't it? But with Yeah, they, they even managed to rake back Bull on Medic even though he desperately didn't want to play. But is I it, think um, Exxon once... wanted that the the big the big influx of prize money into the scene from the donation. Well, yeah, you can probably there. buy at least a third of Romania if they win. <laughs> a little bit of uh, light <laughs> racism to spice up the cast, you know? <laughs> well, if I doubt anyone in Romania can afford internet to send me any email complaints, so I think I'm safe. That's a um, is it nice flip little loophole you found. Yeah, <laughs> flip, flip and flippy. Flip and flippy. And Exxon on demo. And it will be Tech on Pocket, T Mac on Rome, and Bull on Medic. Is Tech still running the direct hit? Nah, that was a that was. I think that was just a two day only thing. And he, oh. while he hit absolutely crazy shots, he just wasn't as effective. It depends if there's. Is there any prize money at the end for like frag of the season? Do you remember when that was a thing? Oh yeah, and there was also <laughs> the fragless of the season or something, wasn't there? Where I think Worms won that. What was that for? The worst. It was yeah, yeah the, the worst factor. <laughs> <laughs> he just got Ubered in on last as a demo man and missed I think it was eight stickies, four pipes, two bottles, and then capped last. Yeah, so that's probably why they nerfed Demo Man. Yeah. Definitely required. <laughs> um but yeah, it should be a pretty close game. It's gonna be interesting. Um I don't think either team is particularly What's the word? Structured in their play, are we fair to say? It's going to be very much, I guess, DM heavy, quite a bit all over the place, messy, fights going on all over the map. Uh, on both I maps, know. I imagine. The, no? the Frenchies seem a bit more coordinated. They they seemed a bit messier than they used to be because they only recently came back. But it was definitely promising what we saw recently when we played them. And okay. I have a feeling that the Frenchies should take this one pretty comfortably. Yeah. yeah it, it'll just be down to whether Forsaken can make some crazy plays, like him and Shadowburn. The kind of frag movie uh, frag movie heroes, they always get their crazy plays, and mm. they'll definitely need them if they want to have a chance in this game. Yeah, I think after we watched um, Lethal Weapon on warm-up, and I think after watching them on like, process compared to Badlands, I think if any, if any sort of points are going to be stolen or taken, it will be on process for the Russians. Like, it's like the defenses are pretty hit and miss, really. Whereas on process, because there's such a defender's advantage on that last, they might be able to hold on to a lot more and wait for Forsaken to work them out a big enough opportunity to move forward. Yeah. It, they'll, if they. If Forsaken and Shadowburn don't turn up this game, I'm going to just say the Russians have no chance. I mean. The Frenchies, they've been together for so long. They, they, don't, they don't crumble under the pressure of uh, official games. They've, they must have played what, five seasons or something together. It's a long time playing with the same, same teammates. Like they, they know how each other play and they, they won't crumble under the pressure. 
Yeah, and even longer for Flippy, Tech, and T-Mac. Like, we're talking years and years yeah. by this point, really. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be particularly difficult. Um, obviously, we talked about Forsaken is probably going to snipe a lot of this. Uh, he can really make the difference on that class. But obviously, that puts a lot of pressure on Monty, particularly with the way Shadow play and plays Roma, not really a flank holder. Um, Monty, obviously, straight from Div 2, was it, to this team? Something like that, yeah. He kind of came out of the blue. He was picked up because of the kind of disappointing talent in in the Russian scene on Scout. They, they All they had was they kept kicking MSH and just bringing him back again, again and again, because there was just no one else. And finally, he'd been replaced by someone who can stick around. From Div 2. So the implication yeah. is obviously that. I'd rather have a Div 2 scout than an MSH. <laughs> I'm not really sure why, though. Is Was it just because he was inconsistent, or his personality, or what was it? Um, he wasn't, like... He didn't learn was the main thing. Like, you'd have to go through the same lessons every night. Like, it'd be like the first day of school, TF2 school, <laughs> every day of the week. Which is obviously quite wearing. Especially, I get you know, like, White Glow and Forsaken in particular have played this game for a very long time. Yeah. Uh, there's only so many times you want to introduce your scout to his main responsibilities. <laughs> but then he, he also play. But then the attraction is he plays really well when he's aiming really well because he's a very he plays a lot of DM. He's mm. very keen on his keen on hitting his shots. And when he when he is hitting them, he goes crazy. It's like watching Zebasai when he's having a good day. But when he's not having a good day, he dies an awful lot. Mm. Yeah. So, obviously, Monty, he seems to be a lot more passive, you know, sort of low kills, low deaths, just kind of, I don't know. It'll be interesting, especially against Flip and Flippy. Uh, he might have his work cut out for them. For them? For him. Mm. Although Flip doesn't seem to have uh, returned to former glory. He doesn't seem very happy with the way he's been playing since he returned. Okay, we'll see. It'll be, yeah, like I said, all I can see is him just getting overwhelmed quite a bit um, on the flank. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, a lot of, uh, I expect a tighter flank from the French people. Um, they're changing level. I presume they're just reloading yeah. the map. No, it's Badlands first, then. Oh, it's Badlands first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it might be a bit of a uh, opening of, like, Baptism of Fire for the Russians on this. Uh, they didn't fare. We watched them against Reason. And it, they did not fare particularly well at all, really. We're never really in the game. Yeah, I don't think there weren't a single mid fight. Yeah, <laughs> everyone seemed a little bit. Let's get to mid and see what happens. There was no structure, no plan. Yeah, they just kind of sat there and died and then hoped Shadowburn would kill the medic and give them a chance at a round. It did happen about, you know, <laughs> like five out of times time. out of seven. Yeah, yeah so. Uh, but yeah, if someone else could maybe contribute on mid, that would probably help them. Obviously, I can, maybe, uh, <laughs> I can imagine Shadowburn saying that. Just any time you guys want to, you know, make a play on mid, that'd be lovely. Or have I just got to go suicide for the med again? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see. Um, I keep saying that. It's my safety phrase to assure everyone interesting stuff is going to happen. Fifty-eight percent of lethal weapon. So far, really? Yeah. That's interesting. A lot Damn of Russians it, in the future. Future. <laughs> Things are interesting tonight. Maybe, yeah, maybe they've hacked in to Straw Poll. Um, I guess everyone's counting on Forsaken's big plays. We'll certainly make sure to bring you as much sniper action as we can. I'm just and I guess think there will be a lot. There will be a lot, yeah. Because it'll either go well for the Russians, because Forsaken's sniping, or it'll be going really badly, so Forsaken will be like, fuck it, I'm just going to snipe. So and either then, way, and if Forsa if Forsaken's like sniping a lot, that means Flippy is Flippy is the kind of guy who goes, "Well, he's sniping. I want to have fun and snipe." Mm -hmm. So he'll be counter sniping. So I have a feeling about I'm going to say about a third of the game, both teams are going to have snipers. Yeah. So I hope you like watching zoomed in TF2 tonight because that's what we're going to be bringing you. Uh, do you think uh, Forsaken's better than Flippy? Uh, back, you know, when all all the accusations were going on. I think mm. it was just on, on a bit of a hot streak. Because uh, at, at that point, I'd say yes. But now, I, I don't know. We were, we were just watching and he was hitting crazy shots, but he was also missing a lot. Yeah, and he it seemed quite... a lot more inconsistent. 
yeah, he hit some nice shots, but it wasn't the same like I just got like two free picks. This push is going to be really easy kind of play. Yeah, before it was just just you could hear the headshots ring off across the map, just one after another. But now he seemed uh, a lot more not not average. He was still a very good sniper, but just not as crazy as he was. And mm. Flippy is kind of like the most consistent sniper probably in, in in Europe right now. Probably the most consistent. Yeah, we're certainly interested to see. We are seeing T-Mac warm up on Sniper. Maybe he fancies his chances. Uh, reminds me, have you heard that you, I assume you've heard the story of Infused versus Epsilon at I-40, I-49. Have you heard that story Just, of T-Mac going Sniper? No. Oh, it Fill was, me in. it was, um, oh, it must have been, I think it was 5-5, five, five, right? Epsilon versus Infused. And Infused, uh, they want to push last and then a minute left or something. And Pretty much both teams on last wipe, right? And Fuse pushing last. And T Mac is just sniper on second, like just pushing his second. And then there's 10 seconds left, and he's just kind of walking through rollout towards last. And if, you, if it was any other class, he would have capped it. But because he was sniper, he lost the game. Well, they went to a golden cap and lost. Apes has repeated that story many, many times. And I don't think he'll ever play with T Mac again. I don't think Apes will ever play with anyone again. Oh, yeah, but... true. <laughs> But we'll see. He seems to be fancying his warm-up chances, at least. Um, but yeah, so Badlands might be a bit of a quick one. But you never know. Uh, Bull is particularly good at staying alive on middles, though. So it will really, I guess, test Shadowburn. Especially if he's, the rest of his team is contributing uh, minimal. Uh, we are still waiting. I think we've only got two Frenchmen on the server right now. Monty has typed, please hurry. So I'm sure they'll be here within seconds. Always works. Yeah. And Tex, just not even in game. Oh, he's launched the game. Excellent. Oof. So maybe in three minutes we'll have a game going. You never know. Uh, so where does this fill me in? Because I've not really been paying a lot of attention. But with the ETF-12 system, so what? What's for? Is does Premiership basically work the same as it always did with like a yeah. seven-week structure? Premiership's exactly the same, but in and all the other divs have just been kind of merged into three and then it uses the swiss system which is basically just magic okay so magic happens magic Let's happens get... there's some kind of thing that like a robot that like does all the fixtures and then i assume something's gonna go wrong and everyone's gonna get upset okay so it's gonna be a bit like magic mic then essentially yeah I, Essent i'd say so <laughs> yeah okay i can see the parallels uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'm gonna stop myself. No. It's gonna stop. be exciting. It's gonna be exciting as well as intriguing. Um, bit of thesaurus for you there. Uh, looking across the Russian lineup, we talked about Victor and Shadowbird having to carry it. Uh, the rest of the players are very in sort of like a weird kind of low mid prem, like atomic death, where they don't get like completely outclassed, like stomped upon. But they struggle to really make an impact. Yeah, they can sort of hold their own versus versus the players. They can sort of hold their own, but they can't make any big plays. Yeah. They, they can't really dominate anyone. No dominations to be had. Yeah. Uh, whereas, obviously, on the opposite side, on the other colour, um, there's a lot more players in avant-garde. Tech, T-Mac, Flippy, Flip, Exxon, all with a sort of potential. To, you know, they, make that play. They've all had games in the past where they absolutely destroyed the enemy team and, mm. you know, make all the plays and just go crazy. And it's just not... He's just not there on the uh, on the Russian team. Lethal weapon, as I think I'll forget many times. <laughs> They'll be known as the Russian and the French. Yeah. I am sort of... Is this, like, maybe the biggest sign of TF2's demise is the fact that everyone, all the teams, have ran out of original names? And are now yeah. just cycling back through previous names. Oh, maybe we that's need just... back, so for yeah. all those crack clan names that no one could ever remember. There we go. Yeah, we need a bit more originality rather than just like the recycling. Yeah, names are not a finite resource. Sideshow tells me he's found it. He's found his alt account. Is he called Zip? <laughs> that, that that would be sneaky. But so. <laughs> it'd be too, it'd be so obvious. People would be like, no. No, this isn't. This 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 is just stupid. Why would he go for this? 
Uh, just hit, hit up Sideshow on Steam if you want to know the true identity <laughs> of Ips' ult. Uh, uh, I do see 12 people on, and all the frags have been reset to zero. That is my main key indicator and that TF2 is about to begin. Uh, throw me a prediction for Badlands. Oh, a prediction. Um, I'm going to say 4-3. Four, 4-3 four, three. Four, three to the Frenchies. I'm going 6-1 France. Six, Shadowburn makes several medic picks. And that's all the Russians will achieve. One of them being an air shot. Yeah, at least. You so, see, if it's looking bad for Shadowburn, he's just going to abandon the game and just go for huge air shots, which will have to make into crazy plays by screaming over them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go with six one. I think it will be much more the French as um, the French guys' favour. Uh, do you know what happened to their warm up? Uh, no. guard. I wasn't allowed into the server. Who wouldn't oh. let me? Maybe they've got some, I don't know, I'd say secret strat. Secret it's, a strat. Little, it's a little bit early in the season to start talking about strategy. It, one interesting thing, actually, is... Oh, we, we are going live, but the That Frenchies, is quite interesting, you're right. <laughs> the Frenchies do actually roll out house to mid, which is kind of an old-school strat, but it plays into tech being really passive. So I'm going to see what tech's going to do on this mid to see if he can deny the shadow bone jumps. Okay, so a retro mid from a Frenchman. Uh... Russians coming up Valley, gonna pressure Exxon out straight away. The bomb comes in from T Tech, but it's really not going anywhere. There's fighting going on in Valley, and they've lost their flank already. And the Russians are just powering across mid. Exxon super weak in house, surely he's gonna die. There we go, Monty gonna claim that one. Uh, Shadowbear's thinking about taking on the remaining three players by himself, but wisely opts to wait for his backup. And Bulletech and Co are just gonna have to retreat all the way to last. Exactly as I said would not happen. <laughs> that was bizarre. The Frenchies didn't even turn up to that mid fight. Tech sort of did this kind of half assed bomb into the middle of the point, and then the in his entire team just died. And actually, <laughs> Forsaken getting onto that point through bottom left, and actually, Shadowburn's hiding and he's jumping in as the Uber comes in through main and trades off for all the Frenchies are on the floor. And if the Russians can get up top, this could be disastrous, but they're just going to back out to balcony and hold back. Yeah, good work by Bull and the Heavy, using the Uber on point, you know, just to absolutely secure it after all that cap time, playing it safe. Russians are able to capitalize on the high ground advantage, but Forsaken has gone Sniper, which I think was really the main plan at the end of all of that. If they got a nice Uber exchange and could cap the point, then sure, but I think the main plan was to get Forsaken on Sniper. All they need to do now is get someone into his sight line. Uh, Scout's rushing down main, actually. Forsaken's by himself. He's going to get completely rushed. Does not hit the close range headshot. Flip will get him and get out to resup. And that might cue a push as well. They pulled him out of position. Tech and T Mac taking over top lobby. And they're going to cue a full scale push right now. Uh, Uber's still even, but not quite got him yet. Um, Shadowburn getting on his trademark fence. Going to try and make it difficult and dodge that damage. Scouts up there though, completely smashing him. Uh, they're going to try and trade to force that scout off. And Tech really could do with committing a little bit more to help his team force him out here, allow his scouts to get capped up. Sort of disjointed push right now, but they do get a pick on death and that will help. Now they've got the cap time. Tech with a denial air shot. Uh, gonna force him from a point. Rash is gonna Uber to try and block him, but Bull still has an Uber to use. As long as he keeps his players alive right now, he should be fucked. But the scout's gonna get picked off. There's no scouts left alive for the French. Is and the sub. We're just gonna get completely focused on the position. He's definitely gonna get out here by the sub. He's doing his best. He's gonna Uber. Um, this is going to be probably the least effective Uber of the season so far and for a while to come. Uh, he's going for Swords behind on main. He's going to try and get the <laughs> Medic. He gets White Glow. Um, car crash Medic defense from the Russians there. Just completely, like, they forgot about Ball because it was such a waste of an Uber. And he ends up picking the Medic, making it even. Oh, and and look, look at Forsaken. He's hiding on this lamp. And he actually got on here with a winger, which I didn't know was possible. And he's going to go in bottom left. And so one I think there's going to be T-Mac on last end. <gasps> this is close, but no, Ooh. the cap time is too fast. And he picks off T-Mac, but they trade off and it doesn't matter. And now the Frenchies have mid. Oh, second, sorry. And they're going to push up to choke. And with three down, I'm curious if they want to push up to mid with this. They yeah, have no stickies on the Russian side. Yeah, they've suddenly just spawned. That's going to allow them to come in pretty easily. They're going to have to retreat uh, majorly quick. Shadowburn's used a lot of health to get out as well, down to half health. Not really going to make it, able to make a play on ball. It is still even Ubers, and Forsaken has stayed on scout. 
So on the sniper watch, it's looking a little bit dry right now. But I imagine as soon as they have Uber, the Frenchmen will want to go. There they are, being a bit, a bit lax with their building and have found themselves behind. Um, and Shadowburn's even going to win sort of a Roma battle. Was that in house resupply or a Shadowburn just on a one man mission on his own? Yeah, that was in house, I think. T Mac was too far up. He's, he didn't get the memo that his team was sitting far back. And the Russians have pushed in, and actually they haven't Ubered through the door, which is very uncommon. And they're getting the better end of this Uber, but death goes down. And Flippy gets another pick up to Shadowburn, but Exxon soon trades. And look at the cap time the Russians are getting on this midpoint. Yeah, Atomic's doing really nice work in house, holding really aggressively. He will get taken down by T Mac, I think. He's still going to get out of all the heels, but they're a little bit short on mid right now. Uh, and Monty's maybe gone too far ahead, taking a fight in house that he's actually going to lose as well. And now we're in a lot of trouble. White goes really low on house. Atomic needs perfect rockets to save White Glow now. Um, and he's got no perfect rockets and mediocre shotgun. That's going to lead to both of them dying. Death is now in again. This is a peculiar play from the Russian Demon Man. He's going to get picked off as well. Um, really odd decision by Atomic. Well, Ooh, firstly Shadowburn. by Monty. Look at Shadowburn. Stay in there. He's, he, he? he's waiting. He's on the prowl in house. Oh, he's just going to back off. But they actually have Forsaken on Sniper on Stonebridge. And it looks like they're going to push Shadows straight behind into them. him. Shadow's behind, but he gets spotted by T Mac on the roller, and that's going to deny him. We're going to start the cap time at the same time, but they have got two players oh. threatening behind them. Down goes Bull. The sniper show begins. So I'm just going to try and jump and block. Shadowburn's coming from behind. Not sure if they see him. He's going to get lots of nice damage. He gets one soldier, and the other soldier really weak. He's going to be finished off. Death getting all the cleanup frags. Really nice. Well, not quite a defense, but they did lose the point. But really nice play from the Russians. Lethal weapon. Uh, gonna secure CP2 and Victor is already scoped up on on to middle. Um, Atomic has gone a little bit early though, gonna have to sneak out of that one. Uh, and there he goes again! Uh, both soldiers going aggressive to counter onto White Glow. White Glow will go down, uh, but they cost um, all their soldiers. I think a scout went down in that as well. And now they're gonna push forward in. Flip's gonna take down Shadow Burn, but. He's really weak underneath. Monty's going to finish that one. Victor denies the escape by Forsaken. And Death's actually walking to spawn right now. He's got one second. I don't know if they're going to walk into this. Surely they heard the stickies. No! No! Oh, he just tanks it. <laughs> T-Mike just tanks the stickies and goes down. But his team's got through it. And actually, Flippy is now on Sniper. And sitting yeah. inside the resup door. Yeah, I think we're planning to come resup as well, maybe? Right. He's gambling on that. Actually, I think they're just going to go choke. They have no idea Flippy's on Sniper, though, currently, I don't believe. So he might be able to get a shot when the medic tries to cross bridge. Flippy's scoping up now. He's got the angle. He's going to body shot the demo man actually. Tries to finish him and gets forced out by spam. But it is allowing um, Exxon to get some defense and stickies onto this spire. Uh, and the Russians are caught, sort of caught in a weird middle ground right now. They're not committing. Um, <laughs> Forsaken rings off another headshot. Um, they lose death, but they get some pretty nice trades. Um, Monty doing some nice work to take down the sniper as well to give Forsaken that extra sort of safety net, but I'm to worry about the counter snipe. Um, I'll be interested to see if they try and go to mid here. White Glow is closer to Uber, and we don't quite have the spawn advantage either. And with Victor scoped in on that choke, uh, Tech and Bull should probably get back pretty soon. But yeah, they're, they've not, got they're, not, they're not aware of it. They don't know. Yeah, Bull looks like he's going to get caught off here, but no, the Russians they are take too, too slow, long. and Bull's going to get his Uber up. But I think Forsaken's going to try and push his head through choke and snipe the med, and... <laughs> <laughs> Getting a bit dangerous for Bull there. Tech spots it out just in time. And yeah. actually, Exxon is holding the resupply. This is okay. in. I've never seen this before. They've got two soldiers on choke with a scout, and Exxon with stickies all in the house. Okay. Just sitting at the reset door. Hmm. Intriguing. Um, still just sort of a stalemate. I guess we're really waiting. The Russians are obviously just going to wait for Forsaken to get a pick. Um, Bull's died quite a few times already. Actually, saying that, the Russians are just going in. They're throwing their soldiers on Shadowburn straight onto Spire. They're probably going to have to Uber at Choke to save Death. Bull is yet to Uber. He's going to save his soldier now. Uh, pretty even Uber exchange so far, and Shadowburn is behind. This should cue a pretty quick aggression from the Russians. But Monty's low on health. That's a lot of their capping power down. Now Death's getting a lot of pressure. He needs some help from behind, but Shadowburn's isolated as well. He trades with Flip, but now they're all trying to come through Choke, and Exxon's going to jump. You get loads of damage off now. Nice work from Exxon. Soften them up, but there's no real follow-up going on. I think they're still cautious of that sniper. In comes Tech now. Vix is going to kill the oh scout. He goes that for headshot. it. Is wow. It, she's getting shotgunned by Tech. Close range. He just turns around, headshots him. Doesn't get the kill, but Tech gets finished off because he was so he had such little HP. 
Vic is just going crazy, and the Russians are bombing through choke. Shadowbone is straight onto Bull, and Bull, by the skin of his teeth, dodges by a split second that last rocket that didn't quite make it out of the barrel as he got killed. Yeah, really and nice work from T-Mac to counter jump for other players trying to come through choke at the same time and just soak up all that aggression so there was no follow-up on Bull either. Yeah, the Frenchies are playing well versus the Sniper, but there's not much you can do when he's hitting every shot. And White Glow's got 100% and he's pushing through the house. And Bull doesn't quite have 10 to use it. 10% is going to be close. They need to go and play aggressive with their super. 100% now for Bull, it's going to be an even exchange. And Atomic's got it on low health in a bad position. This could be quite bad for them. Late Uber from Bull, they're going to kill the Sniper pretty quickly. They're going to kill their Scout as well, probably. And the Dempu. And they might trap him in house, and this could be devastating for the Russian. They're going to try and jump out their balcony. Uh, but they're going to need some big work. They're going to try and trade for the Medic, but the Rockets are all missed. They're capping mid, and the combo's still trapped behind. The Scout's coming through. They've been completely sandwiched. Uh, Shadowburn is behind, but he's uh, a lone figure on the red CP2 right there, as the French team plow through to CP to the other CP2. Yeah, for seconds on Sniper, and it just destroys Flippy so fast. But it was an absolute train wreck of an Uber. Atomic was trying to go slowly to make his Uber last longer, but then he just ended up, just ended up like making the Uber, just taking loads of damage and Ubering in a horrible position. Like and Bull's building has been pretty lax all game so far. There's been a couple of opportunities where White Glow has simply outbuilt him. And if a Russian oh, could wow. key onto this and capitalise, they could really punish. Um, Lavant guard a lot quicker. As we're saying that, they come in, trying to roll it all the way back to last. Both scouts on popping. One's going to eat the stickies from death, but it's going to open up the cap for Flippy. He will cap it off. And despite Forsaken's um, aim and DM on Sniper, they find themselves one kneel down. But a lot closer than I was expecting. Yeah, it was just Forsaken keeping them in that, in that on Sniper. Uh, as soon as he chained off the scout, they got destroyed. So uh -huh. what does that say? Anyway, on this mid fight, both demos being very passive actually, and I'm because Shadowburn is so aggressive on Exxon, and Exxon has just like left the fight, but he just comes back in on full heals. And look at the Russians, they're all backed out and choked. And the Frenchies have got so much space at the point, and they're just gonna have to fall out, the Russians. Yeah, Shadowburn and so far away from everyone else on his team makes it really easy for it to be zoned out by the Frenchies and then just isolate Shadowburn at the same time. But look, I don't really want to go from this block, but uh, loose cannon coming out from. F trying to spam one that's fire. Someone needs to jump though. They've given away so much cap time and not force for you, but they will eventually block. Uh, but it's going to be so hard for them. Flippy will go down. White Glow's going to get eliminated by Tech. Tech's going forward, just plowing loads of damage out. He's behind everyone right now. He could get a lot of cleanup frags. That soldier's super weak. Scout's behind him uh, and Demo. Tech will kill Monty, but Death will give a revenge. Tech is still cleaning up players behind. He's taking on Vix and that one. Uh, nice shot from Tech again, followed by the shotgun. He's got oh the shotgun God, in the air, will good. take out a four frag before he goes down. Uh, Tech may have lost his medic, but his DM just shines through, takes down four players, and surely this cap will go down eventually, uh, despite White Clo trying to arrow <laughs> defense against three people. Exxon oh is going to get God, picked off. White Clo is just in his home environment, jumping around Spire, I think he must have got about six, five, six kills in that whole, mm. in his life, he's still not died. Some really nice uh, defensive pipes from Death as well to protect White Glow on like 20 health versus Flippy. Uh, and now it looks like we have a soldier hiding shithouse, that is T-Mac, uh, he really likes that spot, but it looks like the lethal weapon are coming through house, but still not spotted, T-Mac's gonna go now, just trying to counter jump Shadow, but isolates him but he won't get any pressure onto white glow right now and they're just plowing forward they're trying to come back in but victor's gonna go down and the russians find themselves outnumbered right now white glow's gonna get a soldier all over him down to free health surely he's gonna go down if someone just turns and fires at white glow he'll die exxon's gonna try and come through the sticky will land oh nice wow. shots from atomic but doesn't save his medic yeah. though looks flashy <laughs> some clever editing and he's got a great frag clip there uh, Flippy now on Sniper as well as they try and muscle their way through choke with that uber advantage. Monty's going to die early, that's not going to help them. Bulls maybe getting a little bit far forward right now, but they're just picking these lethal weapon players off one by one. Forsaken's in trash, scoped up, and he will a fully charged body shot flip. He's scoping again, Soldier's going to try and go on him. Both Soldiers sort of threatening to jump on him right there. Uh, they're going to chase him out down main, but it's sort of allowing his team to get some pretty nice uh, position right now, and it's slowed down the capping speed from the Frenchman, as the fight seems to be going on in the lobby. Trade for death by Tech. Uh, but 
Okay, it looks like they're just going to opt for some kind of improvised forward hold. No, just Forsaken is forward holding. Okay. Yeah, he's on left bout and he's going de to destroy gonna anyone who comes balcony. Oh, he's behind no the medic! Oh, oh! Doesn't oh. <laughs> <laughs> quite get a hero shot, but Uber comes into last. Pyro's trying to defend it. Sticky's going on a point, desperately trying to hold on to it, but they've only got the low ground. Forsaken's trying to melee people. Craters from team. Soldier, Hemedic's going on the point, Exxon had it sticky, Death can't get more stickies down in time, and they do go 2 0 down, but certainly making a fight of this. If they could. Um, not have quite dreadful know. Ubers. Not have dreadful Ubers, yeah, like they're hitting all the nice plays outside the Uber, not just not just Forsaken as well, but everyone else uh, to hold on to it, and they're working quite well as a team, they just need that, yeah, just that clinical Uber or two, and they will find themselves on last. Now we're going Shadow Burn again, going really quickly into shit house, but actually costs uh, the two key players they're lucky. Uh, they're going to try and come in anyway, but they're again so defensive at choke right now, and Flip has just completely punished them before Atomic can finish them off. Uh, I really don't think like Atomic and White Glow and Death really aren't having an impact on these middles. Oh, Flip and T-Mac had such good coordination there. T-Mac hit them all with crisp rockets, and Flip just finished off the damage and charged through shit house without taking any damage and just. And just destroying the entire team who was just standing at choke. They need, really need to get out of that kind of choke area and try and take some space across the middle because at the moment they're just having no impact. And Forsaken isn't even on Sniper, so <laughs> they're not going to get any crazy plays. No, they're all coming in resupply, pretty unpressured, a few pipe spam, but not too difficult for any of them to avoid. Victor does run into house and get the soldier frag, and someone's going to jump onto the point, he's all over stickies! Wow, Exxon just needed eyes there, but that wasn't going there, but he didn't see anything. Bulls forced to Uber free spam as well, but they do lose White Glow anyway. Medic protection sort of failing a little bit here from Lethal Weapon. We're going to try and contest it anyway. It's a 4v4. Uh, they have more damage dealing classes, but Death's isolated on Bridge. Soldier's going to come out all over Bull. Shadowburn's going to get one. Shadowburn's going to get two. He's going to try and jump away, but he's sandwiched between Flippy and T-Pack. Uh, now T-Max going to try and get on the point, but he jumps right into a pipe. Uh, nice easy clean up for Victor there. On scout, still just getting stuff done though. But he's going straight to mid, I think he's too fast though. No one is with him yet, he's taking a lot of early damage down to half health. He's still trying to muscle his way in, but no one's there. Uh, here comes the soldier eventually. Now Victor can give the support he needs to try and take over this middle. And there is spam coming in and Sticky's on the train. Uh, but they should be able to secure this pretty easily. Uh, the French scouts avoid all the damage that choke and will get out. And down to a pretty even fight, sort of. Looks like it's going to be a standard choke hold. Oh no, the French, yeah, if they're going to get back, they're not going to risk it with the 20%, 30% different uber disadvantage. And the reset push already coming. Aggressive play from Shadowburn gets air shot. Through. He just launches him onto the top of Defo. He's got the stick out. He's going to get Exxon. Not Def, Exxon. Wow, the Shadowburn rides the air shot to glory. And we're going to see two times on his cap going down pretty quick, but he could do with some backup right now. Mon He's doing valiantly to hold everyone off, but he will eventually go down. And now it's a uh, 3v3 situation. Death's going to need the Uber to save himself. Um, <laughs> Victor's going to kill Flip and force the Uber as Bull tried to Uber to save. They've got a bit more Uber on, and they've got spawns coming in. And Tech's going to get that important spire kill on Victor, and this should actually set him up for a lot. But Shadowburn arrives! Oh, straight from respawn, uh, just straight on top of Bull. Uh, neither medic can just stay alive at all right now. Really scattered fighting. Monty and Atomic going to link up to kill Flippy. Exxon's trying to work his way into mid, but Monty's still around. Monty is by himself, though. He's run behind. I don't think he's going for a back cap, but he's going to run into a scout. Uh, swiftly taken down by Flip. And maybe we'll get a short pause in action. Why is that? Yeah. What's going oh, on? just just finishing no, no, the cap. No, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was that was not constant trading for twenty seconds almost. That's surprising. I've not been able to get a word in all game. There's been too much going on. Actually, Flippy's gone sniper. So oh, and crits sniper with crits. Right, so they've got an uber disadvantage. So what they're going to do is they're going to try and force them as they come in with the sniper, so they don't have to lose anyone, and then re crits on them. But why are they so far up in the house? What? This is. Horrible positioning and Bull goes down without the Russians even committing. And if the Russians play this correctly, they shouldn't lose this fight. But they're charging oh, well. people in and... Yeah. Oh well. Shadowburn's gonna go down in Valley as well. Monty sort of missed a shot on T-Mac in house and that cost him his life. And now we're in a weird, again, 4v4 situation where the Russians have the onus to push. 
but they've got to push through that side from the actually get forced in house by the soldier. Uh, they're not even going to finish them off. Eventually, Victor will. But look how far back the rest of the French team are. They probably won't lose anyone else. Steph's trying to get aggressive in house. Can't find anything. Victor's just ran all the way through the one man army trying to force his way through resupply and just into the spawning players. Uh, he didn't get the kill, but he might well have seen full on crits. Uh, especially after that respawn. So they, sh they should be aware right now, lethal weapon, that they are on crits. Yeah, on the basis. I'm trying to work out what rise. was trying to work out what was going through their heads when they got really close with the crits with crit uber disadvantage but Flippy destroys the pocket soldier of Atomic and this is going to be an easy push all they have to do is watch out for the stickies and for Forsaken's sniper in an Shut unconventional spot well. and destroys oh. <laughs> Bull through house I'm, that was a crazy shot and he, again and he's Exxon's going to go down after trying to <gasps> make the, what he oh my god throw. What is going on? Like, death of course. Like, Forsaken didn't hit his shots, but you know, he's a sniper and there's only so much you can do in that close range. But death just did not hit anything. Allowed Exxon to stay alive and work loaded his best, but it just was not enough. Now Shadowburn's completely isolated from the house, he's gonna go down. Gets betrayed somehow though, and we're gonna go into sort of a, uh, a fight on mid, but it's gonna be more a suicide play for the medic. They see Monty coming a mile away. Tech telegraphed that one in, and down he goes. I, I don't know what's going on. He, all the French have to do is slow the game down once they kill White Glow for Bull to not die and Exxon just jumps into Forsaken for some reason and dies. Neither Demo Man can stay alive either and Death, Death doesn't want to stay alive either. He jumped onto Balcony. Does uh. stay alive this time. But I'm sure he'll have another opportunity to waste his life away. Well, they actually, got some nice frags on the overextended and Exxon and Flip it. Yeah, now we're going to force him out of the poke. I'm not sure if they can get his soldier pick. Uh, but they should be able to queue up a push pretty quickly, but Bull does have... Is it Uber or is it Crit still? It's Uber. It's standard Uber. So it would be devastating if the Russians fully commit to this. And they are wisely backing off. Shadow Burn trying to get into an obscure hiding spot. Um, but the frags they got, the picks of the other accepting players, will allow Lethal Weapon to build up their Uber and will be in an equal Uber's fight. It's been yeah, a while I, since that. I think... The Frenchies need to play this more methodical game and actually White Glow and the Russians are pushing into house and they might get forced really early here. Yeah, and they do and they take a lot of damage and this is going to be a really bad uber. Shadowburn's going to go behind to try and salvage what he can, but they, they don't even care about him. They're just ignoring him and finishing off the rest of the team and surely they know he's behind. Yeah, three frags are ready. Forsaken's on Sniper, but there's not a lot he can do in this situation. Even for him. He does give a headshot though! And Exxon's gonna kill himself with a pipe! Never mind! There is something he can do! Uh, <laughs> Mike though will go down eventually to flip either. Ridiculous initial save from Forsaken with that headshot into self damage kill. <laughs> I can't I was, believe watching, I was watching one of the two fights on mid where Forsaken was like dueling it out with a Tekken bull. This is such a splintered game, it's not. I no structure whatsoever. And at the yeah. moment, it's favouring the Frenchies, and they do have a sizable uber advantage as White Glow is still dead. I mean, pl players are bleeding as well, like, um, even though it's getting a bit chaotic, the French players seem to be holding it together a bit more. Now Death's going to have to try really hard to, to kill everything and secure the point. So many players coming in, Soldier's going to get on the point, now Soldier's going to force both the remaining scout and demo man back. That's 3-0 to the French team lab on guard. And it's starting to get a little bit away from Lethal Weapon right now. Yeah, it's seven and a half minutes remaining. It's getting less and less likely. It's still definitely possible, but the w with the way things are going, they're going to need some mid-wins if they want to get themselves back in this game. Shadowbone and... going in early, going to get absolutely obliterated on Balcony, and now here comes the aggression. Both soldiers leading in. They're going to focus down that soldier. Exxon's jumped in as well, done so much damage. The coordinated bomb uh, devastating the Lethal Weapon ranks. <laughs> Flippy Victor's and Forsaken are just missing each other in Valley, and then they both decide to call it quits and just leave. I think the they're both above 100 HP after yeah. too many shots. Yeah, they both exchange pretty much a full clip of Scattergun for 10 damage each. Shadowburn uh, now going to try and defend Spire. They don't have Uber, they don't even have heals yet. Shadowburn's still trying to deny it. Death's going to arrive now and start spamming them at pretty defensive position, really, from the... Um, French team not really supporting their scouts, but their scouts are doing a decent enough job of staying alive, dancing around. Uh, and they are picking people up. There is a scout now on ball, ball's down to 46. He does actually Uber. Oh, Exxon and he drops Exxon. 
But uh, the yeah. white glow looks like he's going to get taken down by Flip. Definitely Flip. Part no. for a Yeah, there we go. Atomic arrives just in the nick of time. Atomic glow on low health. And they're going to go for a pushback. They know they're running out of time. Uh, they're going to go straight out onto Trash. Monty's already on spike. It's like a huge rocket and catch the second one from Gift of a Frag there. Tech's going up again. Going to kill Death as well. And wow, headshot onto Atomic as well. And this is all over from this push out. And it might actually even lead to a round being conceded. Uh, there is a scout hiding man. Of course, it's for Kid. He's going to try and take on a fully buffed soldier and run straight into a headshot. Flippy has unnecessarily devastated this defense. Yep. No, it's just very, very uh, structured play from the Frenchies and just obliterating, and like obliterating the Russians. When they can keep together work as a unit, they just destroy them. The longer this game goes on, the bigger the sort of gap between the two teams get, not just in terms of rounds, but how comfortable it looks for avant-garde. And now we're going to go into another minute. The Russians taking the early position. Uh, but they've not really done anything with it, they're just going to stand in there. Shadowburn goes in now and forces French team back into uh, sort of their choke for a chain. But they just cost them white glow. And look, they're just, they're just sacrificing Flippy basically. And opt in to build up some more charge and health and then come back in against the weakened play. Uh, they're going to meet up with Flippy as well and actually keep him in the game, heal him up. Exxon has just ploughed forward and got kills as well. Uh, and Monty does come in. They are trading pretty well. They may still be able to force Viva out of ball. Yeah. In comes Shadowburn. One rocket, two rockets. Nice little jump through house from Shadowburn. Uh, and he sort of salvages that mid and equalizes the Uber. But time is really against him now. Five minutes down with four rounds left. Yeah, this is approaching dead time now. As it's... The, the scoreline doesn't do it justice, but every time... The, the further on in the game, the more, the more kind of stable the Frenchies have looked. And it seemed the Russians, their only tactic was kind of, you know, shock and awe. Let's see what happens when we all push every single door. How will they cope? Fight everywhere. And the Frenchies have just worked as a unit, you know, stuck together as a team. And just shut down the Russians. Uh, the Russians have had a few chances for a round and actually Flippy's poking through Joker Sniper and quite low standing still. Just chilling on the health pack and gets done by Flippy. Well, Shadowburn's going to get in, force the kill onto Flippy and T-Max actually going to kill from behind. Victor's trying to force his way in against everyone right now, and Monty, but it's not going to work. Um, again, just a lot more cautious, careful play. Um, I'm not sure if this will work as well on process for Lavant Guard, with the better sniper angles there will be for Forsaken. But we'll see. Currently, Death's jumping to block Spire. He's really low on health, 10 HP, but he's bought time, and no one from Lavant Guard seems to want to get on the pot. I think Tech's out of rockets. No, he's not. He was just looking for the low health demo man kit. And now they're going to secure that point. Um, finish Ooh. off a couple of players and force them back to last. And we have a full Uber to take in as well. Bull has held his Uber versus four shots from Forsaken. Just dancing <laughs> around on Stone Bridge. Balls of steel. And with three up on the Russian side with some pretty long spawns on some of them with a full Uber advantage. It looks like this is going to be game as Uber comes in. The soldier above the point drops down and cap time and 5 nil. Yeah, kind of what I expected, but not quite in the way I expected it. Yeah, I didn't expect a 5 nil. The, the Russians definitely had chances to get a few rounds, but it I just seems like that. I watched the 5 nil either. Yeah, the, the Ubers on, on the Russian side, they just seemed absolutely dreadful. Like they needed to, what they were good at was just fighting everywhere on the map. They needed to trade Ubers, back off, and then just go. See what happens. Mm. Uh, I'm just bringing up the logs right now. I don't presume Suo is hot on the trail of them as well. Um, but not really much to say. Tech and T-Mac topping the damage. Tech with a really good KD. And Ball, despite how many times he got sniped and headshot, you know, he only died nine times, which considering how the Russians were playing, it's pretty damn good, really. Yeah, he died nine times, and three of them were forsaken. So it's not really that many. He, they played pretty mm. well against the sniper sidelines. Yeah, and I think only one of them, like, one Uber was dropped to the sniper, but that was it. Uh, you compare that, you know, even if he dropped that one Uber, White Glow died 17 times overall, so it almost doesn't matter about that one Uber drop when the other medics down so consistently. Yeah. If you look at Forsaken's damage, he did 
3.4k damage on 18 minutes of scale, and 2.4k on 8 minutes of sniper. Hmm. He should say sniper. Yeah. <laughs>